Dear Italy, you are a country with heart, but where do I even begin? So full of magnificence, yet so complicated within. From the north to the south to Sicily, it's a land divided into three. I'm always reminded of this fact here, when I post a video and people cheer, but it's not like that in the north, what do you say? The south is better to visit just for the day. I have learnt that you really can't paint Italy with just one brush. It's a delicate masterpiece that can't be rushed. From the moment I got here, you've been teaching me just how to live my life and the better person I can be. I arrived from London a little reserved. The thought of greeting strangers was totally absurd. Now I say buongiorno to everyone I see, creating with it a sense of community. I appreciate food now in a way I never did. In the past for me, food was just something that was quick, quick, quick. Now I understand the time it truly takes to lovingly create a mouth-watering plate. Even my table manners have completely transformed, from saying buon appetito before every meal to only eating when everyone's plates are filled. Food equals love and it's a wonderful thing. There's absolutely no dispute in the joy it brings. But what about the everyday moments of life? How do we navigate the trouble and strife? Italy shows me that all we have is now and that living in the present is exactly how. In the simplicity of life, the answers can be found. It's not about grinding yourself into the ground. And then there's the beauty, undeniable it's true. Italy, you are a country that is gorgeous in every hue. I never thought I'd ever say that graffiti could be pretty or that there's something magical in the layout of every city. Even at nearly five years in, I'm still as curious as I was back then. It's the little things that blow me away. In the seemingly mundane, there's something special that stays. So many people believe the fairy tale we are told of the romantic Italy of old. What many don't see is the grit and the plight of Italians who struggle just to be able to eat at night. But even then they have riches that sometimes we don't see in the form of a loving family. It's not all about the money, possessions and wealth. There's more to be said for time and health. These are the things that Italy teaches me, along with the importance of connection and unity. Is Italy perfect? Sadly not so. But honestly, where in the world can you go? For perfection simply doesn't exist. But life in Italy can bring a stressful twist. For one minute you are relaxing, soaking up the sights. To the next when you are engaging in verbal fights. Dealing with the never-ending bureaucracy, which ties people into knots and creates adversity. The residency office in Palermo is a woeful sight, with people queuing all through the night. A system that creaks under the heavy strain, inadequate and understaffed, it's all in vain. Two days a week it opens its doors, but don't expect service, just expect uproar. Arrive at 7.30am, you're number 64. It's a shambles and a shame, but I wonder, did Monopoly put this popular destination on its latest game? And then there's the education that students receive. Children go to school with suitcases, not bags like you and me. A heavy emphasis and importance on achieving academic success. There is a strong study ethic that often leads to stress. That said, what prospects await students here? For many decide the opportunity is actually out there. When it comes to learning English, it's another sorry tale. The lessons are basic, often to no avail. Studying the classics like Shakespeare may sound grand, but in terms of the language, it's no longer spoken in our land. Far better to learn contemporary works with actual words and phrases that can be applied in the world. What about employees who give their all, working long hours with bosses that sell their soul? Contracts are often a myriad of lies, and if you get an indeterminato, it will bring tears to your eyes. For these types of contract, without expiry, 
are honestly like winning the lottery. Italy, I think you just don't see what great potential you have underneath the mountains of bureaucracy. Mention Italy to anyone in the world and it generates excitement like a child. But mention Italy to anyone here and people will often bend your ear, telling you about the problems from old. It's the same story that has been told for generations long before, but I sincerely hope it will change. For Italy, you delight me, excite me and push me to be a far more curious person with open eyes to see the beauty that can be found in the world around me. Just like a real life love story, Italy, you are as imperfect as perfect can be. Thank you for the lessons you continue to teach me. Love, Ms. Brittany. <laughs>